and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about something very special. Today's episode is about this puzzle here. It's called the Hip Flask Puzzle and every one of you who's watching my channel since some time probably knows this puzzle here called Titan made by Felix Yuri in 2000. And 19 and this was probably the hardest puzzle for me to solve in 2019 it took me around 10 hours to figure the solution out by using a problem solving approach on this one if you haven't seen this video I put your link up here this is now the second puzzle of the same designer Felix Yuri from Great Britain and it's called hip flask again entirely made out of brass and a screw attached here there are some holes inside and you can also see here from the top that there are some pins here or something on the top. You can twist the top, and you can pull it out a bit, and then it gets stuck. I already figured this out when I took it out of the box, and if you twist it, it goes back. I won't try anything further than that. And there's also some hole here on the bottom side, which you can see maybe some details inside that would help, I don't know. It's pretty heavy, so most of it is probably solid brass. Comes in this nice looking red bag. It comes also with some rules and these are the instructions which say the target of this puzzle is to remove the lid from the flask. No external tools are needed and no significant force is required. Excessive shaking, banging or forceful twisting may damage the puzzle. Good luck. Yeah, I hope this will not take me as long as the Titan puzzle. According to the difficulty rating of Felix Yuri's website, this is slightly less difficult than the titan puzzle i think i'm gonna find out today hopefully if i make it otherwise i will also make same as for the titan a second video where i show you exactly how it works and after the spoiler break i'm gonna film my first attempt trying to solve this puzzle i have to admit that i'm a little bit concerned about the difficulty of this puzzle i hope it's not as difficult as this one because this one really put me in serious trouble it was very difficult to solve for me and to figure out. Of course, the satisfaction if you make it at the end is absolutely worth it, but to get there takes quite some time and also some frustration. You need to be definitely able to handle some frustration. Okay, today's episode is of course about the hit flask and I'm gonna try now to get the lid from the flask. So let's just have a look. Okay, as I mentioned, you can pull this one out. Oh, now it's stuck. Okay, and then it goes back in. Maybe I should also get something where I can take some notes. Here we go, just in case I need it. And now let's just have a first look on this great puzzle. I can tell you already it's great because I know it's gonna be great. <laughs> let's have a look. Again, I can pull this out. Ah, okay, and I twist it upside down. You see these pins here are coming out. Both of them. I put them back in. They just lose. It seems. And if I twist it back, they go back in. Let me just check if they are same as the last time some bearing bolts or pins inside. But you can hear there seems to be nothing inside. Is this hole on the bottom side? And if you look inside here, I'm not sure if you can see this. Inside here, at around the center of this hole, about here. It's kind of a step or a line where two components join like so, kind of a split line or something. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with the solution, but it might be possible that you can take out something and you have a hole in uh, drilled inside here and this probably is not allowed to be removed, but it's necessary for the mechanism inside. This hole is definitely not necessary for this pin because it's on the other side. But you can see at the bottom of this hole, there is a small cutout here on this side. And this cutout seems to be connected to this hole over here. So this hole goes here and interferes with this one. For some reason, we don't know yet. Okay, no moving parts inside. So let me just try to play around here a little bit with the lid and try to figure out if I can feel something. This is gonna get blocked if I twist it too far. And if I push it in, I can Nothing, I pull it out, it's completely blocked. But if I push, ah, okay, but if I push it in, it can go back. And then it goes back in the initial position. And from the first puzzle Felix Yuri created, the Titan, we know already 
He has definitely a lathe and probably also a milling machine. So this is probably how this thing here was manufactured. There's also some kind of a noise, so maybe there's something spring-loaded inside because I push it. If I pull it out, you can hear this noise, this click noise. You hear this? Watch out. So there is jumping something into place. Maybe a, there's a spring-loaded pin or something inside here that goes into something. It seems to be something like a maze or something. This pin is running in. Okay, let me just fiddle around a little bit and play with those pins and okay and um, if I pull it out it gets stuck in the upper position so if I pull it out you hear it snap into position and I can't go back so there seems kind of a to be kind of a mechanism on this shaft here into place so this pin here is spring-loaded after it's in place you need to figure out another way to go back again so it seems if I'm then twisting it, at one point I can enter the maze or whatever it is and get back in the maze again and then reset the puzzle. What are these pins for? They confuse me. Let me just uh, try if I can figure out another entrance to the maze. Oh, there's something that felt different than before. It's hard to explain, but I could feel some resistance when trying to go back. In this hole, I'm just looking in this hole if I can see something. No, but the noise is definitely coming from out there. You hear the difference? Like this. And like this. So it looks to me like there is a maze or something inside and this lace has different layers. Like a outer layer or an upper layer and a lower layer. And this pin is running in this lower area on this upper area and you go up and down by following the right track okay but it's still hard for me to understand okay so this the first layer i can enter at some points let's say i can go for example in here this is the first layer and the second layer is i can enter in some areas but i cannot twist it 360 degrees so it's definitely blocked here helps me here draw a line here I can at one point I can feel it goes into another layer where well, there is some resistance at least so the pin probably drives up or down a ramp and then it goes yeah close to 360 degrees until it's blocked again so let's draw this draw it like this and I think from this layer I can pretty much everywhere go into the next layer so no matter where on this layer I pull it out I can pull it out no matter where Oh, and this time I could was able to pull it out a little bit further. And you can see there is really a maze or something inside. And I, I think I was right with the levels because you can see here is this ramp. Over here you can see it's nearly like zero. And then you enter the maze through this ramp. Oh, yes. And another step. Wow. This looks insane. Oh, and the pins are coming also further outside. I got one pin already outside. What are these pins for? I don't get it. This pin here seems to be longer. Uh, maybe I can put it in down here. Hmm. But I can only put it until this parting line I mentioned inside here. You can see it here. This is stopping the pin from going further in. Okay, let me explain you how this works. I count this in layers now. So this is the first layer for me. There are layers in depth and also layers in height. So. This is the first layer in height for me. The pin is surrounding, uh, running around here. And then it can drop from every position except this one over here. It can drop down and it will be catched and I can leave it again if I twist uh, this, this um, trap. I can leave again if I twist it and run back the chamfer here. And if I probably run with the pin over this area, I was able to take it out further. Otherwise, it would be catched. I think this is like the first part of the puzzle and now I need to figure out the second part. It seems to be another similar trap at the next stage. Okay, what if I reset it? I pull it down and go over this bridge, but before I 
are trapped in the next maze like here I might move already Let me just show you what I meant before I now fall into the number two level I try to twist it I think I need to drift in between these two levels and maybe find another exit so let's just try this see I can rotate it like it's like this so there is a the first maze where I can drop in or the first trap the pin is running here and then if I find the bridge and cross this one there seems to be another area where kind where I can run with the pin and then there comes the second trap and I'm now at the second one here try to figure out if there is another is another uh, bridge going from the second maybe to the third part of the puzzle yes no trap guys oh <laughs> okay there was a trap let me just note the positions i already tried for the second layer so i tried number one i will try now the, the same again but after the second click okay so the the second the second area the second trap is obviously looking like so so you can fall inside pretty much everywhere but you can only leave it over here i need to find this area between this wall and this wall hey here we go guys here we go Woo! exactly right it seems it was exactly right and I got the second pin out for the layer. Oh no, this one goes completely in. Now this one and now, can I somehow push it out? Uh, and now at the third layer, could you just get it out please? Still no idea what this is about down here. But it's sticking out a bit, so maybe I need to push something in. But I feel nothing. Oh. Oh, and here we go! Yes, I did it in uh, around 50 minutes, I think. This is actually a plastic pin. Okay, and therefore it was also said not to use too much force because you would also probably break this pin. Okay, got it. Pretty clever in the end. So I think I got it now. So let me explain you how this thing works. And I'm pretty happy on how I figured this out. This was logically very nice to approach very good to understand but still difficult and i think it's a great puzzle but more of that later let me now explain you how this works okay they can interfere with this pin here inside and block it from moving okay and this was the very last step i needed to do i need to put both down here and if the pin is now in position it need to be here on the top means it's inside here pre pressed all the way in i can by pushing here Hold it inside. If I release it, you can see it will come out again. I start with number one, here with my marking number one, and I pass the first bridge. You can see the first bridge appearing here, and the pin already slide above, these, above this bridge. Now I turn this one 180 degrees until the second bridge, this one here, appears. I slide over it all the way before this flange that appears inside here i stop over here and now it's very important that i turn counterclockwise not clockwise if i pull it out further i will drop in if i pull, uh, pull, uh, twist it clockwise i will also drop in so i twist it counterclockwise and i stop shortly before number two not go all the way to number two but stop a little bit in front of it now i can pull it out to the third layer and if i do this i will drop now into the last trap you remember this tapered area. So I'm now at the very end, shortly before, and it's only held inside here. I got the two pins now. I put them down here, and I was—I had to have to admit, I was a little bit lucky here. So I get, so I go back all the way to the beginning. I'm now back in the beginning, but I just noticed one thing. If I'm in the beginning, and I now can access the pin with these, the pin is in this condition anyway, pressed completely in. So I can just push the pin in, 
and take this uh, take it out and solve it pretty cool solution so overall i can absolutely recommend this puzzle i would give it regarding the difficulty a four out of a maximum of five one detail i do not like too much and this is the fact that this pin here is made out of plastic it should have been a steel pin otherwise i see a high risk damaging this puzzle maybe this can be changed in the future i don't know but overall i mean this puzzle is incredibly well made reminds a little bit about a ravo maze but it's somehow also completely different with these separate levels i like this very much so absolute recommendation from my side i hope you enjoyed this episode link in video description if you would like to buy this puzzle and until next time keep on puzzling